She sings as she flies. She brings. So the album's off at the manufacturers as we speak. The design's all done, mastering's finished, recording's in the bag. The band are about to arrive for rehearsal for our launch gig, and I'm very excited to be releasing this summer um, Faye Hield and the Hurricane Party with the album All Fuel. I've chosen particular versions of songs or tried to uncover songs that aren't massively popular, which in some ways goes against my sort of conception of popular folk music, the music of the people, the songs that have endured. Some of these songs haven't necessarily endured, they've been forgotten. But the idea that these have been passed and travelled through time is very important to me and I love the history and the essence of songs. The idea behind the Hurricane Party wasn't to, for me to sit down and design my perfect instrumentation and the band. I didn't want drums and bass and a guitar and a tune instrument. I wanted people that would react with each other and make amazing music. So it wouldn't necessarily be your ideal choice to have a concertina player and a melodeon player in your four part lineup. But Rob Harbron and Andy Cutting just fire off each other and make the most amazing sounds. So the Hurricane Party is very much about the individuals and the virtuosic elements of their personal music making and their relationships rather than the concept of an arranged band. The title track is Orpheal, which is a fabulously epic ballad based on the Greek myth of Orpheus. It's not a song I'd heard as a folk song as such. Um, I know there have been recorded versions, but I didn't come across those till after, and I was writing the sleeve notes. But the song itself comes from the Breton Lays. It's one of the sort of supernatural ballads where he follows his love down into the other world who's been stolen by the King of the Elves to rescue her. And the thing I particularly like about this song is how he's then recognised, once he's turned into a gnarled, old, unrecognisable, uncouth chap, um, they recognise him back in the courts as the king because they recognise his tune that he can play the harp just like Orpheal. And that's a magical thing to be identified by your music, I think. The bonny apple tree All blossom and bloom in my own country So off we go with the wind On Springfield Mountain There did well Wicked Serpent is a massive hit in Massachusetts but I've never heard it here in England so much. It's a local song to a place called Springfield Mountain in Massachusetts. A guy in 1761 was bitten by a rattlesnake and it's written down in the church ledger and he died that same day. Um, the story ended up in the newspaper and was turned into broadsides and spread like wildfire throughout the state and throughout America and various different types of the ballad have been identified. It's had a lot of scholarly treatment actually and there's one strand which turned into the sort of vaudeville comedy element and this version comes from there. It's, uh, it's incorporated a twist, I don't believe this is true, but it suggests that his girlfriend tried to suck the poison out um, with a, a rotten tooth and they both tragically died in a jolly jaunty kind of way obviously so yeah the wicked serpent I think it's a great track. Naughty Baby is a song that I got from the Oxford Dictionary of Nursery Rhymes, edited by Iona and Peter Opie, two brilliant folklorists and child law collectors. I made the tune up um, from a, a radio programme I was listening to while flicking through the book, and um, it's just a horrible little song. I've been banned from singing it to my children by the older child has stopped missing it to the baby now because she thinks he'll get too scared but I think it's just cracking. I love that idea intimidating children to sleep and he breakfast dines and dinners and The songs are all traditional they've all got a long history and my relationship with them 
taps into that and fits into place and I recognise elements of these songs as belonging to me and to the people around me and the people I'm singing to and with. Just a 